What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be checking out this AWELL mini PC. This mini PC is rocking a Celeron J4115. It also has built an 8GB of DDR4 RAM with a 128GB NVMe SSD. The first thing we are greeted with is a mini PC wrapped in this beautiful plastic. Let's pull this under pocket thingy out and let's see what we have. We have a silica gel pad and some accessories, screws and warranty card. Those screws will be helpful if you want to add a hard drive inside. This is another box that's inside the box and I believe it comes with a power supply and it does. So this is a 12 volt 3 amp power supply and it comes with a VESA mount and a HDMI. The overall build quality of this mini PC is generally made out of plastic. There is no metal on this casing and it feels pretty light on hand. At the front of the mini PC, we have a reset switch, a headphone jack, a Thunderbolt 3 Type-C, and two USB 3.0 with a switch. At the right side of the mini PC, we only have vents and nothing else. At the back of the mini PC, we have two HDMI ports with two more USB 3.0 port and an ethernet and power. In the left side of the PC, we have a micro SD card slot. I did confirm with the seller and they said that the Type-C supports external graphics. To upgrade this mini PC, it's really simple. All you have to do is remove the bottom rubber feet and you can get into the PC. Pry off the bottom panel and now you can see the CMOS battery, two NVMe slots, and one HDD cable. The bottom panel has a slot for a 2.5 inch hard drive or SSD. To further take apart this mini PC, all you have to do is remove the scotch tape and unscrew the four corner screws on the motherboard. After removing the screws, all you have to do right now is remove the back panel that covers the ports and the motherboard will slide out easily. Now you are exposed with the motherboard heat sink. There is also screws on the bottom metal part and you can unscrew that to expose the CPU die itself. This is where I get really confused. I don't know why Ewell decided to use a thermal pad on top of the CPU die and add another thermal compound on top of the thermal pad. Uh, you know, if you're a PC enthusiast like me, you know that the thermal pad really does nothing. All it does is just sits there and that's it. And uh, this is why the thermals on this uh, mini PC wasn't that great. And I had to mod it myself with another heatsink. Thermal pads are usually sitting on top of VRMs or RAM chips or storage devices. So as you guys can see in this picture, I added a copper shim. This is actually from a very old laptop I didn't need anymore, so I took the thermal um, heatsink thingy and ripped the copper shim out. I added a layer of um, thermal paste under that shim and added another layer of thermal paste on top of it to make a better contact with the aluminum heatsink that this mini PC comes with. After the mod, I see a temperature of 60 degrees Celsius maximum at um, full CPU load. And when I didn't do this mod, and I, if I do anything CPU intensive, when I try to pick up the PC or try to feel it, it gets really, really hot to the point I don't want to, you know, touch it. Before the mod, this PC would thermal throttle like crazy and limit the CPU's performance to the point where this mini PC just feels really sluggish. Hey, well, if you're watching this video, this is an area that I think you guys need to improve on. The rest of the video's benchmark score and gaming performance is going to be reliant on this copper shim. If you're a computer nerd and you're watching this, this is the Wi-Fi card that this mini PC comes with. This Wi-Fi card supports dual band Wi-Fi, meaning it supports 2.4 GHz network and 5 GHz network. This mini PC also comes with Bluetooth. Right now I'm gonna be running 3D Mark Time Spy. And I'm gonna be showing you guys the final score. This mini PC got a 130 on the graphics score and 940 on the CPU score. If I haven't mentioned it already guys, this one is a 4-core 4-thread Intel Celeron J4115 processor with a base clock of 1.5GHz and a boost clock of 2.5GHz. When I use this mini PC for daily tasks like opening Chrome tabs and viewing videos on YouTube and just generally web browsing, this PC is really really fast on that. It's extremely smooth with 8GB of DDR4 RAM and you won't be seeing any lag spikes when you're just doing normal office daily tasks. Right now this PC is running Minecraft 1.16.1, this is the latest version of Minecraft. As you guys can see, this mini PC struggles a little bit at the beginning, but later it will be really nice. This PC struggles at the beginning because it's newly spawned into this area and it didn't render all the chunks correctly yet. I'm using 8 render distance and fast quality 
As you guys can see after running Minecraft for a while, this mini PC really doesn't struggle anymore as they finish rendering the chunks nearby and it's pretty smooth to play with. By the way, this is not with Optifine. I'm doing a TNT test and as you guys can see it doesn't really drop that much, it stays under 30 FPS and it doesn't really go up. I also disabled VSync meaning this PC will have uh, whatever the headroom of the FPS it wants to do. Right now I installed Optifine and made it the same settings as before and this one's running Minecraft 1.12 and you guys can see that it's a lot more smoother. It can do 30 FPS smoothly and it can even do 50 if you're just idling walking around. I know it's unbelievable guys but this mini PC is running GTA 5. Just watch it by yourself guys, this is actually pretty impressive. This really shows how mini PCs has improved. Back in the days, you wouldn't hear anyone running GTA 5 on a cell run without a graphics card. So in conclusion, what do I think about this mini PC? Well, this mini PC is a really really nice office workhorse. You won't feel slowed down when you're just trying to do a little bit of office work or web browsing or watching some 4K content because this thing supports three 4K 60fps monitors. You could even do a little bit of light gaming if you don't mind turning on down the settings a little bit. This thing can handle emulation with no problem if it can do GTA 5 at 10 FPS. This mini PC is amazing. If you're just looking for a small form factor PC and you want a really nice desktop screen, keyboard and mouse, a lot of space to work with, this device is extremely perfect for that. The fan noise isn't loud, has multiple USB 3.0 ports, it's just the newest really modern mini PC that's in the market right now. Anyways, if you guys like this review, please press the like button and subscribe to me on YouTube. If you have any more recommendations on what devices you want me to review in the future, just leave it in a comment down below. If you're watching it on Amazon, press the helpful button and follow me on my profile. And I'll see you guys on the next awesome review. Goodbye.